Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Lori, and I'm here to do your next 48 hours what you need to know, what you don't see coming, what you can get prepared for. I'm going to roll the zodiac die and tell you what signs you might be dealing with. Libra, there you are, front and center. You may be dealing with yourself. All right. Um, battling something that's going through your head or another Libra, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, or Aquarius. Now, Pisces has been showing up in your readings today and a lot lately, and I'm getting that that's really more the Pisces energy than it, an, an actual Pisces, but take it as it resonates. As I was pre-shuffling for your next 48-hour reading, the Queen of Pentacles came out, and then this card came out and literally got stuck to my finger. I, I tried to move it again, and it still wouldn't. You got the Lover's card here. Now, I do want to say, like I said, for some of you, this could be you dealing with yourself, taking a deeper dive and bringing yourself into harmony with yourself, peace, um, with your higher power your higher self, whatever it is, okay? I am going to put this back and we will see what else comes up. We're going to ring the chimes, clear the air, bring in a peaceful, calm energy. Your other two readings have been absolutely stunning today. I hope you catch both of them. The first chime is very, very large and it's loud, so please protect your ears, okay? Three, two, one. We're also going to invite in some light, happy, fun energies here. All right, I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. Let's see what the next 48 hours holds in store for you. Spirit's telling me to give you a couple of oracle messages first. All right. And very specifically told me Dreamscape Oracle message. Luna Moth. Luna Moth. Things are not always what they appear to be. You have more strength than you realize. Let's see what else. Anything else here? Yes. And tiger, see, you are, you have much more. Um, oh, this is about knowing when to use your strength and when not to, but you are much stronger than you think. We're going to go to tiger. Let's see here. We're going to give you that one right away. 69. This is about an inner strength issue, but there's more here for you. If I could just get to the page, we'd be doing great. Tigers are some of the most recognizable cats in the world. They are territorial and mostly solitary, but they're also social creatures when they go hunting. Diverse culture, a lot of different cultures fear their ferocity and view tigers as a formidable force. Many people call upon tiger energy to overcome obstacles and reclaim their personal power. With their dwindling habitat, tigers have had to adapt to the constant changes that humanity imposes upon them. Go ahead, call upon tiger spirit when you are dealing with adverse situations that need your assistance. Show your strength and don't back down until you know when things are in your favor. The meaning of this card is to overcome adversity through personal power. Exert a strong will, okay, to push through tough times. I paused after that, exert a strong will because I got chariot energy there. Change course. Don't keep pushing against something that's resisting you. Find an easier way around it. Change how you see it and uh, remember it doesn't always take the strength of the tiger to break through the barrier. You can be the moth and go around. Okay, so there is something about that. Spirit saying that's exactly what need, needed to come out. All right, so those are your um, energies 
that you are stronger than you think, you have the ability to stand up in the face of whatever comes your way, but also keep in mind that you do not have to be ferocious, um, ferocious, um, cruel, or dangerous. You can be gentle, okay, and see things differently. Remember I said when we first saw the Luna Moth that things are not always what they appear. Get a different perspective on things. See it differently. From the back, a uh, Luna uh, Moth looks like it has eyes or the moons all over its wings, okay, <clears throat> but it's not really the moons, is it? All right, so you've got the King of Swords to start this message. Use your intelligence. I'm hearing here with this particular deck that maybe you were a little too stern with somebody and now you, you might want to just... And it's not even a take a step back, just let it go. It's just release it, let it go, okay? If you snapped at somebody, they probably deserved it. They probably did something, whatever. I don't condone, you know, bad behavior from anyone, including myself. However, we're human. Sometimes we just, our buttons get pushed. We get triggered. But you can see that you're trying to just let the situation go. Somebody may be looking at you going, hmm, I'm still a little mad about this. And you're kind of like, I'm sorry. I'm, you know, I'm sorry. You, some of you may be willing to say you're sorry. Others of you, you may not feel the need to. And that's completely up to you. I always think an apology, whether, I don't know, I'm not going to go there. If you feel that you've offended somebody, it definitely deserves looking at, you know, there's enough. I am not one of those people that thinks apologies are weakness. In fact, it takes a strong person to admit when they've made a mistake. All right. So apologizing when you know you've done something wrong is always a good thing. It will help alleviate any situation. All right, you've got the sun here. So, yeah, things do get restored. The truth, you know, the situation is revealed. Everybody's on the same page. There's a sense of clearing the ear, not worrying about the situation anymore. And I am going to keep those two together. So the situation does get resolved, at least temporarily, I'm hearing. At least temporarily temporarily all right let's go ahead and see what else we've got going on here the ten of wands Ugh. the ten of wands is actually good because it means you finally have decided to put the weight of the world off of your shoulders let go of some sort of burden and to take the lessons from the burdens and move forward okay so this is expansion and growth it's the point where you put things down you let it go releasing okay nines are about releasing tens are about learning the lesson and moving forward all right so let's see what goes with this ten of wands what is this ten of wands about here spirit nine of cups yeah once you let this go you're over it you're done you're going to feel good about this and I did hear somebody say, Spirit just told me, somebody is going to go and apologize for their part in the situation, even though they were not the one who created the situation. If you were the one that snapped back at somebody's bad behavior or something like that, some of you are going to go and apologize for that. And that's going to clear the air. That's going to release these burdens, okay? And everybody's going to feel good with the Nine of Cups energy. Yeah, see, here you are. You know, your your guardian angels are watching you. Your higher self is watching you. Are you going to keep going? Are you going to, you know, keep holding a grudge on this? Or are you going to set the burden down? Are you going to just reach the summit and let it go? And then here, here's your guardian angels looking at you and saying, here you go. Here's that ninth. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Offering you that ninth cup. Saying, here you go. You deserve this. You put this burden down. Everybody's happy now. It's like a wish come true. And this, this, I just noticed this in this deck. That, that cup is full of gems. So there's, um, I'm here, hearing there's a treasure. I just knocked a whole deck of cards over. Well, half a deck. Um, there's a treasure trove of beautiful information, connection, abundance, 
in the releasing, okay, the healing. So there's really, there's like something good coming your way because of this, not just for you, but everyone involved. Everybody's cups are upright. Eight of Cups um, talks about walking away from things and letting it go, okay? Heading into a brighter future. You might be heading into the unknown, but at least you're leaving behind the known, which is the Ten of Wands. You're putting the burden down. All right, let's go ahead and see. You got Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You're receiving a gift again from Spirit. Abundance. It could be um, money. It could be a gift. It could be good karma. Let's see what else is coming up here in the next 48 hours. All right. So if there is a disagreement with anybody, it could be absolutely anybody. Seeing, you know, tension. That's what it feels like, tension. Like somebody snapped, somebody snapped back. And uh, now things are re um, repaired. There are not going to be any grudges. Everybody's moving forward. Four of Cups. Let's see what else. Oh, Three of Wands. Not happy where your future is headed. Okay, like you feel like this is just going to keep repeating. That's what I'm hearing here. So you're, you're wondering about the future. Is this going to keep going in this direction? Now, I will say... Yes, you do have to ask yourself that question, but the more you focus on that exact question, like sitting there and saying, I wonder if this is what I'm going to have the rest of my life. Oh my gosh, is this all I can expect from this relationship? Is this how it's going to go for the rest of our life? Okay, whether I, if I stay here in this job, if I stay here in this marriage, if I, you know, have to deal with my family one more time, is this what I'm going to put up with for the rest of my life? Guess what? Yep, it will be because that's where your focus is. So you got to ask yourself that question and then tell yourself, you know what, it's up to me to decide what my future is going to be. If I want a brighter future, I can fight myself or I can point myself in the right direction and go after happiness, joy, and bliss by being level-headed, working in union with everybody, okay? All right, let's see what else is coming up here over the next 48 hours. I'd like to know about money, please, Spirit. Can you tell us about money? What's happening here for our lovely Libras concerning money? Uh, and this card, you saw it, kept wanting to come out in the reverse. So you've broken the chains. You have broken the chains of something that was holding you back. If you were lacking money or your money was tied up and you couldn't have access to it, or you blew a bunch of money, I don't care what the situation was, it's being righted, it's being corrected. Yeah, the tower on the bottom of the deck with the star. So yeah, I'm hearing something unexpected with your money may have happened, but it is being repaired. All right, see, Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck, too. So right here, you broke the chains, the devil energy there, okay? You broke it, whatever happened. It may have come as a surprise, but there is healing and hope for the future here. So if there was money troubles, you're good. You break through. I'm also hearing this is a good surprise for some of you, like an unexpected boon. On, and that would be right, because if you're doing good things back here, you're bound to get good karma. You're bound to bring in some sort of good karma if you're being generous to others. Six of Swords. Sailing away. Easier times. Less stress with your money. All right. I'm hearing some of you are moving. Some of you are taking new jobs. And this came up in your other readings today, too. You're asking yourself, can I change this? Okay, so here with the Four of Cups, you're looking at your future and you're wondering if this is all there is. And now here you're looking at your future saying, that's what I want. I see it. I see it. It's right there. All I have to do is stay the course. Okay, have hope for the future. Dream big. Make wishes on stars. Set your intentions. Vi envision it. If you can see it, you can have it. 
All right, let's go ahead and see what we've got as your end result for the next 48 hours. No, what is Spirit's advice? I'm sorry. What is Spirit's advice for the next 48 hours, please? No, thank you. What is your advice, Spirit, for our lovely, lovely Libras, any cross-watchers or channel fans? What is the advice for them for the next 48 hours? I hear sirens in the background. Ooh, fire truck. Wow, he is really laying on that horn. Okay. Spirit advice for our lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. Look at this. And this is where your reading started the lover's card. Being in alignment with yourself, your higher power, or the people around you. It's about looking at every situation, dark and good and bad, dark and light, equal, unequal healthy, unhealthy, and bringing yourself into a position where you're in alignment. You, you say life is this way. Everything can be an opportunity or it can be a challenge and a burden. Okay, how are you going to look at it? As a burden, ton of wands, or are you going to look at it as a blessing? Something that you can learn from, expand, something that makes you feel good when you overcome that. Can you look for, forward to your future and picture what you're going to receive? Or are you going to sit there and ask yourself if this is all there is? If this is all there is, then that's all you're ever going to have. But if you can get yourself focusing on these um, things that you do desire, you will be achieving them. But it's about getting yourself in alignment. Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. What is Spirit telling me here? Somebody may come back around. I'm hearing somebody may have a change of heart about a situation. And I'm hearing it's you. You are coming back around. You are having a change of heart about what a situation with somebody where you felt like they did you wrong and you just kind of left. You may decide to... Um, revisit that because you're you were coming from a place of lack anger frustration when you dealt with that person um and this is not the person that we're talking about here currently this is somebody coming back this is you going to your past somebody in your past that you want to reconnect with you want to say to them hey look I, maybe i wasn't thinking clearly when that happened this is not somebody coming back to you this is you reaching out to somebody and only because you feel um, a change of heart a feeling of alignment within yourself so i'm getting that this is not even a lover this is not like an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend. This is like a family member, a friend, a co-worker. And you guys might have been really close at one time in real alignment with each other. Could even be a soulmate energy here with a lover's card. Um, could even be a karmic situation with it coming out twice like that. But what I am hearing is that you were the one that chose to walk away from this person. And you are seeing where, oh, you know what? Maybe I judged them too harshly. Or maybe I wasn't balanced and fair because I wasn't feeling like myself. Maybe I'd just been betrayed by something or someone else and I took it out on this person. Okay, so this is not somebody else coming around. This is you going back. This is you being the one that's coming back around. How are you going to treat be you know how how are you this is because you want alignment and you do believe you can have it and i do feel from spirit that yes you probably can get back into alignment with this person will you have to apologize maybe okay you just might have to and it's not going to hurt you if you did if you do have to if you did something wrong and own up to it okay 
There's the Ace of Swords. Speak the truth. Admit the truth. Everybody knows the truth already. If, if you're dealing with somebody and you walked away from them and you were in the wrong, you know that. They know that. So why would it be difficult to speak the truth about that? Just own up to it and look what comes in. Speaking the truth brings in the Ten of Cups for you here. Beautiful. And it changes the direction of your life, the chariot, and gives you the Holy Grail. Yeah, and it helps you to put the last of the harsh words down. Oh, my gosh. Well, you guys just keep getting the best readings. Ace of Cups, the Chariot, the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. So, again, you've got double aces in this reading. you got double sixes here in, in this reading. I am not going to forget to do your angel numbers. Okay. So the next 48 hours looks like overcoming um, some sort of difficult situation, an argument, a dispute, um, temper tantrum, you know, just something that wasn't right. It's gonna, You're going to overcome it, okay? But when you get to this point and you start asking yourself, is this all there is? Change what you're thinking. Focus on the future in a positive way, okay? Break the chains of that negative thinking. Have that tower moment. Have that epiphany. Let that ego go. Do not hold on to, well, you know, they hurt me. Well, you're the only person who can accept that hurt, okay? Anyways, let it go so you can heal. Have a brighter future. Vision what you want from the future. Picture it. Feel it. Okay, and then it, that's how you get in alignment with it. And if you need to apologize to somebody, I hope you have enough strength and courage to stand up and do that. Okay, and you don't have to do it in an angry, aggressive way and say, well, you know, no, you can do it by being just soft and tender and gentle and kind and not butting heads with people, doing things in a, a lighter energy. And I do realize that's not for everyone. All right, let us go ahead and get you some oracle messages here. Spirit, what would you... Oh, boy. I'm using the astrology cards twice today. First one is Chiron, Hurt and Heal, and that came out in your other reading, just so you know. So Chiron is all about hurting the wounded um, warrior energy, any old past hurts come to the foreground, you know, and you can heal from them. You can let the past go. So that's great energy to have right here. And you have a trine, angelic support, harmony, and perfect flow. Yes, when we forgive and forget and we just heal those old wounds, everything flows beautifully. And you do have divine inter intervention and protection here. Okay, let's see what, uh, look what's on the bottom of the deck, Libra. Libra energy, okay? And then what do we have with it? Uranus, radically changing things. And it doesn't, okay, yes, Uranus does bring in big, huge changes, but it's the small things that change first that lead up to that big life change. And you guys got the big life change in your other reading today. But you also got small uh, small changes bringing that in. All right. What am I looking for here? Spirit wants me to give you something in particular. I can't find it. Spirit, guide my hand. Oh, it's hiding. It was hiding behind another deck. Okay, let's see what we have here for the next 48 hours. These are the spirit animal, oracles of the spirit animal. You have dog, friend. Today you will live... Uh, no, that's a rewind. Dog, friend. Today you love without condition. Your energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration to yourself and to others. You choose to be happy, okay? You are also a protector and a good friend. I love that energy for you. Another one? Wonderful. 
We got Loon, Intuitive on the bottom here. Listen to the song in your soul. Hear your soul, okay? And dear, love, be gentle with yourself. You can heal with the power of love. See the light in everything, the divinity in everyone. Acknowledge your self-worth and your grace, your divinity, and everyone else's. Yeah, we had to remind ourselves that we are divine beings having a human experience and we're bound to say and do things in the heat of the moment, okay? But you can always revert back to a partnership. Accept yourself exactly as you are. Feel confident about being you. Be in your own skin. All right, we're going to get you a couple of C melody messages here. Meditate. Make some quiet time in the still air. And safety. Don't be too proud to go back to shore. Rethink how you feel about something here is what Spirit's telling me. Yeah, let the ego, ego, E-G-O, let your ego go away, walk away from it, release it, have a tower moment and let it go, okay? Because that's what happens with a tower usually is letting the ego um, be released, feeling more compassionate, more loving, allowing healing in, wishing on better future, okay? Optimism. After every rainstorm, there will be clear skies and usually a beautiful sunset, too. So have optimism. Don't get stuck in that um, dissatisfaction, unhappiness, um, discontent. Or even I'm hearing comfort zone. Like, I know that you're not comfortable here because you're unhappy. However, you may have just accepted that this is how my future is going to be. Ooh, don't do that. Do not settle. Get optimistic about the future because you're the only person who can make it a happy future. Okay? Nobody else is going to change that for you. Dance. Take inspiration from the moonlight dancing on the surface of the sea. Get out there and enjoy life, please. In the day, in the night, however it is, open your eyes and see that it's always your choice. All right. I love you guys. Until our energy crosses again, I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.